All right, thanks everybody for showing up. Um, today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a pop-up Facebook or your social media profile picture that has kind of the 3D look effect here. Okay, let's dive into it. And we're gonna start using uh, online software that's free called Gravit. Not Gravit, Gravit, G-R-A-V-I-T. So let's go ahead and we're gonna open up Gravit. Not Gravity, just Gravit, Gravit Designer. And they have free. We're just gonna go ahead and just use the free version. So that way I can show you a little bit how to do it. Okay, once this pulls up, you're gonna get a, a little desktop here that's kind of other things that you wanna do. I think it's easier. They have social media templates. So if you come into the Instagram post or the Facebook post, they already have some templates already, already made for you, like the, the standard sizes, okay? So from here, we wanna import a photo. What I would request what I would suggest you do with your photo is first get the photo that you want and then you're gonna have to key out the background and remove the background. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to do this so you don't have to do a lot of the cut and paste here. Um, so what we'll do, I'll go ahead and show you some of the ones that I've done already and then show you exactly what to do. So if you come into so I have profile image with the background removed, as you see here. I just make a lot of them and then I can use whatever. But to do that, you can use any background that you want, preferably a green screen. You don't have to use a green screen. I would suggest you use something, like I did a ton of these for my daughter and she just used like the wall. We just took pictures of her against like a plain white wall and this that works perfect for what we're doing here okay so if you just took like one of these pictures make sure it's a jpeg okay and then you're going to open up this is called remove background so r remove dot bg you guys you can't get any easier than this and so what we'll do is we're going to take a picture that we want to scan over it. All you just do is just drag and drop it. Like this one will work. I'm just gonna drag and drop that baby. Okay, so it automatically does it. Now the, here's the thing, the free version downloads like a lower quality pixels. So when you go, if you wanna do something more intricate, you need to probably pay for it or just do it by hand if you want the pixel pixel like more pixels to have it more clarity so when you zoom in um, it looks a lot better so but this works for what we're doing so and you can see you guys this does a really good job masking out the background so we'll go ahead and download that open up Gravit designer click file import place image we're gonna come into your downloads that you just downloaded Click on that baby and voila, you got your image in, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in this sucker. So to do this, kinda increase the size, you wanna select the shift key, then grab one of the corners and then pull it open. Center it up, you have some of these little icons on the, on the right hand side here to where all you need to do is just center that up and it just centers up the photo you can center it up both ways easy to do all right now that we have our picture let's go ahead and add the circle to it so we're just going to come into this little icon shape here hit the down arrow we're going to click ellipse create ellipse okay now if you're going to see watch what i'll do if i just hold this down and just do whatever it's going to be whatever shape right so to help with that, so it's a perfect circle, we're gonna select the shift key 
and it automatically brings in a perfect circle okay so I kind of think that's where I maybe want to be but let's just take that circle and kind of move it around to where we think we want our profile to be I'm going to come over to opacity and just kind of bring that down just a hair so I can see if that's what I want mm, you know it's okay it's not like not like the best but for this tutorial we'll just use this cool savvy all right let's bring that opacity all the way back up and then we're going to come in and select the fill button this little fills in the circle now in this if you want to look like a cool fade or if you just want like a regular color background it's it's up to you you can do whatever here i like to have kind of like fading colors and kind of make it make it a little neater so what i'm going to do is click on linear gradient and sometimes what you could do is if you you could like for instance like maybe i want like a black on this side or white if you want to pick like a color from like your shirt there we go so that you can see that's kind of dark we don't want that so I kind of like the greens a little bit so what I'm gonna probably do since I want myself to highlight I'm already kind of have a dark image I'm gonna make this just a titch lighter okay all right so what we'll do is we'll come up to this side make that right there and then we're gonna select on this side of the panel and again you can use your color picker all right now that we have that not gonna worry about anything else right now but we could at this point we could slap a border on it you know make like a gray border whatever border color you want so come over here to borders and then double click that little guy right there hit 10 enter okay if you want a different color again Click your color if you want a color picker from the picture itself use that or black or, or whatever you want you can choose whatever color a lot of people have been going with gold lately i don't know why but that's just that okay so now i have that that ellipse at this point what we want to do is we want to mask out everything around that ellipse okay so what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to take my ellipse and bring it down to the bottom. Select both of them, hit the shift key, select both of them, and there's this little mask button right there. Select that. And then all of a sudden it just takes everything out. It wipes it all out. Okay. So now this is where we come back in and we're going to kind of do some of the 3D technology. Open that ellipse button again. These are your layers over here. Click on that remove background. We're gonna just select select that, and then we're gonna come up to edit, and we're gonna duplicate that image, okay? So now you see that this image, there's two of them here, but it's already under this specific lip. So we're gonna take this one that it just duplicated and made a copy of, and we're gonna drag it up above. You see that little line right there, that little red line where it just kind of pops in right above ellipse. We're gonna hit, hit that and drop it in. Okay, so now we have a new duplication. It's right over that layer. From here, we're gonna take the opacity and we're gonna bring it down just a little bit so we can see the hand and the hat right here. Because we're, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna mask out just a little bit here and then just a little bit around the hand. That's all we're gonna do. Now this is where we have to use our little tracer tool and get a little, get fancy and stuff with it. So to do this, it's easier if you're like way zoomed in so you can kind of see what's going on. See my ugly mug right there. Okay, so now at this point, we're just gonna kind of mask around the hat. What we'll do is you're gonna come up to this pen tool hit the down arrow and select pen. Now you don't have to be perfect with this, but I try. So start below the, the, the uh, outside line, black line that we've created. And we're just gonna start kind of tracing it, the hat, and you can see it's not perfectly round 
or square. We'll come back up in just a minute and we'll clean that up. Now that we're back inside the circle, I'm just going to zoom out just a bit and then we're just going to kind of make sure we're inside the body. We don't want to be in this circle zone. All right. Now that we're about to complete the mask, watch what's going to happen when I connect this dot. Okay, you see it automatically takes everything out. So what we'll do at this point, kind of looks ugly a little bit. Hit the escape key, okay? And then at this point, what we can do is we can kind of clean things up just a little bit. So if you select on the path, that's what you did your mask. And then again, if you bring the opacity down just a little bit, we can use this so we can kind of clean up our little dots Again, zoom in. And then if you double click on the path, it brings these little, all your little buttons that you pressed back in. So for example, let's start with this one right here. If we select that one, it's going to come over here into appearance and you can adjust the rounding of it just a little bit. So we'll just take the corner, of those and just round them off just a bit not too much and this one since it's not a square watch what we can do here if you select that it gives you these two little arrows or these two little kind of whiskers off of it and if you drag them and watch what it'll do it'll make that line we don't want to do that we just want to kind of want to make it very minimal right there Okay, now that we have that kind of cleaned up a little bit, I'm gonna select that on that path again. We're gonna take that opacity and bring it all the way up so it blacks it out. And then on this border, it's gonna give you a black border. We don't want that and it also has a fill and we don't want that. So we're just gonna select X on that and it's gonna take that black line away. And then we're gonna just take this, right, this fill and we wanna bring that to zero. Now that we have this, bring that right there. Increase that, delete that border. Okay. You want this path that you created, drag it underneath your copy that you've done here. Again, select both of those and then select the mask tool. Now you can come in here and you can take this path and increase the opacity of your original picture. And voila, you're all done. Okay. At this point, what you'll do is you'll just copy or you'll just export this to a PNG. So you come over here to file, export, PNG save it to your desktop or something. What we'll do is we'll bring this back over here. We'll select on that. And then just kind of crop it just a little bit and you're done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you like this video and then you can make your own uh, Facebook, social media profile image, kind of make them pop out, stand out a little bit. All right, till next time, we'll see you.